France to relaunch search for 16th century shipwrecks. French researchers will this summer resume the search for the Cordelier, a huge warship that was sunk during a 16th century battle with the region. The biggest vessel in the English fleet, which also foundered in the clash. The Cordelier, pride of Anne of Brittany's navy, exploded off the coast of Brest in 1512 after Henry VIII's armada surprised her France-Brittany fleet during the War of the League of Cambrai. What we have under the water here are two of the most significant museums of the 16th century's maritime history, Michel Lauer, head of France's Marine Archaeology Department, said at a press conference. An underwater Pompeii, the search, set to run from the 20th of June to the 14th of July, will cover about 25 square kilometers stretching from the port at Brest to the promontory at St. Matthew, which would later give its name to the battle. Discovering the arrival of the much larger English armada on 10 August 10, 1512, the bulk of Queen Anne's fleet raced to safety in port. But the cordial year a 40-meter-long vessel armed with 200 cannons, turned to take on the region, fending it off for several hours before an explosion of unknown origin engulfed the French vessel, sinking both ships. Nearly 1,500 people died, and the sacrifice by the Cordelier's captain and crew acquired mythic status in Brittany's cultural history. As he is often the case with ships, the Cordelier was thrust into history just as it disappeared, Lauer said. A series of searches were carried out from 1996 to 2001 without success. But the new effort is based on a new analysis of archival documents as well as a revised interpretation of possible tidal movements. The André Malru research vessel will use sonar and magnetometric sensors to map the seafloor, with potential anomalies investigated by divers or robotic devices. We might find something on the first day, or nothing for five years. But I am firmly convinced, one day we will find it, Lauer said.